In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an explosive projectile. Now, most of the setup is going to be the same as a normal projectile, but the big difference would be when it hits wherever it's going, it would have to explode. So, to play an explosion effect, you do play effect as opposed to create effect be visible to all players and all teams there's bad explosion is what I prefer it's also good explosion a rain explosion a whole bunch of different ones pick your color and then you want it to be at va player variable wherever you are storing the position of the moving projectile <coughs> and then however big the blast radius will be and then after that you just do damage players then radius of the projectile position however big the blast radius was and then it would damage the opposite team of the team of event player you could also just do all players if it's something like old diva bomb could affect your team or something like ash nay or ash tnt can affect yourself you could also do add and event player along with this so it's just yourself then line of sight check surfaces on and enemy barriers unless you want it to be able to go through those and then damaged by event player and how much you want it to damage this is for when it hits the uh, any player on the opposite team then you also have if it hits the wall or the ground or something again do the play effect just like before the damage just like before you can copy and paste it over here you could also add after damaging could do a set status could do burning kind of like a ashes TNT and then after that you could do damage over time if you want it to do a burning effect <coughs> and then you'd set up the damage dealt to and dealt by it's the same as with the set amount of damage Traveling to I'm gonna go in and show off the projectile. You can see when it hits the wall, it explodes. Then I'll go over, find the computer, and show the damage. So you see it did the projectile damage as well as the explosion damage because they are different. The projectile damage is in the flying of the projectile part of the script. Oops. Open that up. It's in moving it and then when it hits in this case when it hits a character that walks in line of it it does the explosion damage and that would register it kinda like far as rocket where the explosion damage can take full effect if you hit close enough but you'll get the maximum amount of damage if it's a direct hit 
because it also has projectile damage. You could change it so it doesn't have this if you wanted, but that's pretty much how you do it. Thank you for watching.